Sean Diddy Combs was detained Monday night in New York City after being indicted by a grand jury. According to the New York Times, a person familiar with the indictment confirmed the legal action against the 54-year-old musical impresario, however, the specific accusations in his indictment were not immediately evident. According to TMZ, Combs was arrested by Homeland Security officers at the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan late Monday and taken to the FBI's Manhattan field office. Authorities had expected to arrest Combs on Tuesday, but something transpired that prompted federal agents to take him into custody earlier than planned, according to the official. According to U.S. Welcome to Star Updates. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date about buzzing updates and hot gists from Kardashians and your favorite celebrities. Attorney Damian Williams, Combs was seized in connection with a sealed indictment issued by the Southern District of New York. However, federal officials have stated that they will request that the indictment be unsealed today. Combs, also known as Diddy and Puff Daddy, has been in the spotlight for the majority of the last year after settling a lawsuit filed by his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in November 2023, alleging he engaged in sex trafficking and assaulted her. A video of him attacking her in a Los Angeles hotel room in 2016 leaked in May, prompting him to remark that he'd reached rock bottom and offered no excuses for his inexcusable behavior displayed on the footage, adding that he accepts full responsibility. Prior to his arrest, Combs was photographed lounging in New York's Central Park before roaming the streets with his son Christian Combs. Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnifilo, told DailyMail.com, We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made millionaire, devoted family guy, and seasoned philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and trying to better the black community. He's an imperfect person, but he's not a criminal. To his credit, Mr. Combs has been completely forthcoming throughout this investigation, and he willingly relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these allegations. Agnifilo said, Please reserve your judgment until you have all of the facts. These are the actions of an innocent man with nothing to conceal, and he hopes to clear his name in court. The indictment was issued Monday evening, less than six months after federal officials raided the music mogul's mansions in Los Angeles and Miami on March 25. TMZ said that Monday's high-profile arrest was apparently linked to the investigations. According to TMZ, federal agents also thoroughly searched the hotel room where Combs was apprehended. Combs, then known as Puff Daddy, was at the core of the 1990s East Coast-West Coast, Coast hip-hop conflicts as the notorious B.I.G.'s partner and producer before he was shot and died in 1997. But, like many of others who survived the era, his public image mellowed with age, becoming a genteel host of parties in Hollywood and the Hamptons, a fashion-forward businessman, and a devoted father who indulged his children, some of whom lost their mother in 2018. However, a different image began to emerge in November, when his former protege and girlfriend, R&B singer Cassie, became the first of several people to sue him for sexual abuse, citing stories of a steady stream of sex workers in drug-fueled settings, some of whom were coerced or cajoled into sex. Her suit also claimed Combs was involved in sex trafficking by requiring her to engage in forced sexual activities in several jurisdictions and harboring and transportation of plaintiff for the purposes of sex induced by force, deception, or coercion. It further claimed that he forced her to assist him in trafficking male sex workers, with whom Combs would force Cassie to have sex while filming. The lawsuit was settled in record time within 24 hours. The contents of the arrangement were kept private, with Combs announcing in a statement, We have agreed to handle this matter peacefully. I wish Cassie and her family the best. Love. However, just days after, two more women accused Combs of sexual abuse in lawsuits filed on the day of the Adult Survivors Act's expiration, a New York law that allows victims of sexual abuse a one-year period to pursue civil action regardless of the statute of limitations. The claims, filed by Joy Dickerson and another unnamed woman, accused Combs of sexual assault, beatings, and forced drugging in the early 1990s while he was a talent director, party promoter, and rising star in New York City's hip-hop world. 
The claims caused Combs to lose some of his remaining allies and followers. In the months that followed Cassie's complaint, at least a half dozen more were filed. In February, a music producer sued Combs, alleging that he pushed him into soliciting prostitutes and pressuring him to have sex with them. Another of Combs' accusers was a woman who said the rap producer raped her at the age of 17 two decades ago. April Lampos, a woman who filed a case, claimed she was a college student in 1994 when she met Combs and began a series of terrifying sexual experiences with the rapper and people around him that lasted years. Combs and his attorneys have denied almost all of the complaint's allegations. However, the rapper's legal problems were exacerbated in March when Homeland Security investigations raided his houses in Los Angeles and Miami in the early hours of the morning as part of a sex trafficking probe. Combs was in one of his Miami houses at the time. His two boys were also handcuffed during the search at his Los Angeles home. When CNN published a leaked video of the music mogul striking Cassie, kicking her, and throwing her on the floor in a hotel hallway in May, he lost his remaining allies, fans, and those who were holding out hope. That video triggered Combs' first genuine admission of misconduct since the avalanche of claims began. He apologized in a social media video for beating Cassie, stating, I was disgusted when I did it, and I'm disgusted now. Combs, the founder of Bad Boy Records, became one of the most prominent hip-hop producers and executives during the last three decades. Along with the notorious B.I.G., he collaborated with a number of high-profile musicians, including Mary J. Blige, Usher, Lil' Kim, Faith Evans, and 112. When the charges surfaced, Combs' other businesses, including profitable private label Spirits, a media company, and the Sean John fashion line, suffered significantly. The ramifications were amplified when the leaked beating video surfaced. Howard University broke connections with him, and he surrendered his key to the city of New York at the mayor's request.